Hey guys, Gaz Burrows here at BurrowsPT.com. How to get pull-ups done, part number three. Now this movement is key in achieving full range pull-ups and it's an area that I was weak in at first and a lot of people find difficult to do, both in pull-ups and in any movement in the gym, be it any back exercise or even uh, chest and, and, and exercises on, on the front of the body. And it is retraction and depression of the scapula. So when we're in that pulling movement, we want to retract the shoulder blades and lift the chest and depress them down. So retract and depress the shoulder blades to enable us to pull effectively using the required muscles. Now this exercise works on that movement specifically and it's called an active hang. So what I want you to do, as you can see in that video, is to hang from the bar. Full extension, complete dead hang. From there, we're keeping the arms straight. Um, we, just by using that depression and retraction of the shoulder blades, we're using the lats, we're isolating the lats to lift the body weight up. So we're not using the arms, we're not using the arms at all. We're just retracting, depressing the shoulder blades and lifting the body purely with the, the, the muscles required um, to do a pull-up. So it isolates that muscle group, isolates the posterior chain, the lats, uh, rhomboids, the center of the sh in between the shoulder blades, the center of the back, to enable us to isolate that movement to gain strength and progress with full range pull-ups. So yeah, as you can see in the video, dead hang, retract, depress the shoulder blades, lift your body weight. Brilliant way to isolate those muscles and to get you doing full range pull-ups in no time. Work that into your program and gain the necessary strength in the back to do full range pull-ups.